I'm Leanne Fogel, and this is Finlandia Fridays. Welcome to Finlandia Fridays. My name is Michael Babcock. I am your host for this weekly interview show here at Finlandia University. This week, we are joined by Leanne Fogel. Leanne, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Uh, it has been three, almost three full seasons of Finlandia Fridays. It's the first time you've been on. Yep. Uh, that is crazy. You are famous here. Um, everybody <laughs> loves you. And we're here with you today to talk about MLK Day. Um, MLK Day is a big, uh, you know, we're heading into our fourth year of this mm-hmm. being a really big event here at Finlandia University. Um, and if anybody wants to know any details, go to finlandia.edu slash MLK Day. We have Leanne on because you are the coordinator of transportation for this wonderful day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before we go into MLK Day, though, let's talk about, it is Friday, January 11th today. Um, that means tomorrow the students start arriving. Talk about what that means for you um, when the students start getting here and what it, you're looking forward to with the winter semester. Um, it's really exciting because second semester, I already know most of our students that are in Finn Hall. And so I've already started, you know, forming relationships. I get to know them really well. And so I'm excited to have everybody back. Um, we do have a few new students that will be joining us. And so that's really exciting to get a few new faces, but really keep building the relationship and keep the family vibe that we have. And it's, it's an exciting time. Good. I'm sure everybody's excited to see you. And, um, of course, you've got some new Finns coming in. Again. I do. I do. Um, we have a only two this semester, and then we're also looking at having the Hey Sumi group joining us as well. So um, that's always exciting because we're finished school. So let's let's bring the Finns with us and get to learn a little bit more. That's exciting. Leanne, of course, runs our resident hall, from Landy Hall, um, which is a very modern facility. Um, if you want to check that out on the website, we'll have a link in the show notes to check out what it's like there, including the dining hall, which of course is awesome. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. So that brings us to MLK Day. Uh, this is, like I said, a very exciting day on our campus. Talk a little bit about what it's been like from your experience, uh, what you think students feel when they go through this day. Um, I think that, you know, since it is so new still, you know, we're, we're building the tradition a little bit more every single year. The excitement grows every year. You know, um, sometimes students can be a little bit hesitant, like how, how can I really help? What can I do? Um, but once they go to the sites, there's people there that really help mentor and guide them and what they need to do to, to be as helpful as possible. Um, when they come back, they're so excited and they're ready to go again. And, um, it's really fun to see teams doing it together or classes doing it together. And, um, you come back feeling accomplished for the day. You know, you feel proud, um, of what you've been able to do. And it really affects the people that we're helping. You know, we help people from the age of five all the way up to 95, and it's it's a great experience for our students and faculty and staff that get to help out and everything like that. So it's a really exciting day. I love the way you said from uh, five to 95. Mm-hmm. Um, every year our department goes out and takes pictures and we get video and everything that happens, and there's so much that goes on. Like you said, five to 95, these, they were helping people all over the community. And that, of course, is doing the community service part, portion, which we actually cancel classes on. Monday, what is it, January, Monday in January to get everybody out there and let them do this volunteer work without having to miss class, without getting yep. behind. Yep. Um, just because it's part of our mission to get out there and, and complete this kind of service in our community. Um, so that, of course, is Monday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, students can sign up for whatever service site they want to if they go to finlandia.edu slash mlkday. There are a ton of service sites available, um, but they do fill in. Uh, I know when we're, last time I looked, there were still more than a dozen sites open, I think, Mm -hmm. but these do fill in quickly, so make sure if you're a student, get out there. Um, If you have a student that goes here, you know somebody, make sure they go and sign up as soon as they can, because it is part of um, what we do here, and they're expected to be there. Um, And of course, it's going to be fun. Um, Before that, though, on Sunday, there's a a chapel session at 5 p.m., so on that Sunday, make sure you get out and join um, Corbin and everybody else that'll be there to, to start MLK Day the right way. Um, and then, of course, after that, we have dinner at 5 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little about that event and um, why people should make sure to get out for that. So we're actually changing it this year to a dinner instead of a brunch. And the reason we decided to do that is because in years past, we've had a brunch and then everybody's gone out and done their service and then just kind of went home afterwards. Well, by incorporating a dinner, that means we can all congregate together and kind of discuss what we did and how we helped and kind of share our experiences with each other in one place. And I think that... Um, that'll just really help complete the day a little bit and just help us all come together as a community after we've gone out into the community to help others. And, of course, faculty and staff are invited to join mm-hmm. for this event as well. Uh, make sure you get out there and do that. New this year, uh, TRIO will be taking some students, and you don't have to be a TRIO student to go. Correct. Um, any student can go. There's an event over at Michigan Tech that night, so we're going to invite all of our students to, to get with TRIO to do go over and participate in that. Again, finlandy.edu slash Day for all the details on how you can sign up to do that. Um, and then we'll finish off our MLK Day um, events on Thursday with the featured film, uh, When We Were Kings. Do you know much about that film? 
Um, I actually don't. I haven't gotten to watch it yet, so I'm looking forward to getting to see it myself. So, And that'll be a lot of fun. Make sure you get out that uh, and, and finish that off at the community. Um, let's talk one more thing about MLK Day. What, why do you think it's so important that we do this? Um, when I was a student here, I'm an alumni, um, we didn't do anything out of the box for MLK Day. I remember going to classes and we would discuss, you know, I have a dream. We would discuss and learn about it and, you know, um, take some time to appreciate the day and what it means. But I think it's so important that we include service because that was one of uh, Dr. King's, uh, it was one of his models that he lives by mm-hmm. and or lived by. And so it's so important that we include service. You know, it's part of our mission. It's part of who we are as Finlandia and giving on to others and standing up for what's right and doing all of these kind of things really helps bring us together. And it honors an incredible man and it honors what he stood for. And it's it's a great way to show that, you know, we listened and we want to embrace and do as much good in the world as we can. I love it. Um, thank you so much for being on today to talk about MLK Day. Um, again, if you go to finlandia.edu slash MLK Day, you can get on there, get all the details. Make sure if you're a student, sign up for one of the service sites as soon as you can. Um, and I want to welcome everybody back for the second semester. It's going to be a great semester here at Finlandia. Um, this is Finlandia Friday. It's a weekly podcast. It's one of four podcasts we have on campus. Make sure you go to finlandia.edu slash podcast to learn all the details. Um, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, wherever else you get podcasts, so you can subscribe to make sure you get all the updates as they come. Um, a lot of fun this semester. Anything else you're looking forward to specifically this semester? Um, so I don't have a date and a time yet, but we're going to do the annual diversity dinner um, towards the end of the semester. I'm so excited about this. This is one of my favorite events that we hold during the year. We have different groups of people from all across the world. You know, if their heritage is from different parts of the world or even just different parts of the country, we get together, we um, share a meal. Um, students, staff, and faculty will actually prepare the meals themselves and serve it themselves and we all get together in the cafeteria we have it decorated we explain where the food originates from um, why it's important what's in it you know just for any allergy issues that may come up and it's just such a great way to talk about where everybody comes from where their families come from traditions everything like that and it's a really organic and natural way to have great conversations about diversity and really appreciate the immense diversity that we have here and the entire community is invited to yes, go to that one as well. the entire uh, community is invited, and it is um, free for students. And so we will make sure to get the date um, and time out when it's a little bit closer to it. I try and work with schedules with athletics and nursing and all of our many schools that have events going on constantly. So Perfect. We'll have uh, more in, on that as the event gets near. Uh, go to finlandia.edu slash Fridays. Um, for all the show notes and thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you Flan, for being here thank you for having me and we'll see you guys next friday